What's up guys? Uh, learning with Rich here. Um, in this video, we are going to learn how to modify the IES data of lighting fixtures. So basically what we are going to do is we're going to edit the lighting fixture and we're going to explore some options for us to be able to modify our lighting fixture. And one of them is we're going to modify the IES data. So aside from that, the reason why we're going to modify the IES data is we're going to maximize the lighting output using the fewest number of fixtures. Okay, so here on my lighting tool plan, we are going to work on our library 219. Okay, so what we want to aim here is we want to uh, maximize the lighting output using the fewest number of fixtures by modifying the IES data of the light fixture. And with that, we will be needing the space lighting analysis that we are working on since our few videos before, wherein we are working on the average estimated illumination, and then on the lighting de uh, delta. Wherein, if you remember, our lighting delta here has a conditional format of uh, showing or highlighting the lighting delta not between minus 5 and plus 5 Fc. And aside from that, we are also highlighting the average estimated illumination here in yellow whose value is zero foot candle. That's why you will notice here, the value here is zero foot candle. Okay, so I'm gonna select here, okay, okay. So it's just a review of the last video that we are working on. So we are gonna using the space lighting analysis as our basis. We are going to work on the library 219 here, this one. So our goal here is we want the minus 4 Fc to become 0. Okay, so we want our uh, lighting delta for uh, library 219 space here to be 0. Okay, by doing or by modifying the IES data of the lighting fixture with the goal of maximizing the lighting output using the fewest number of fixtures. Because you will notice here, it's full of lighting fixtures. So how many? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 lighting fixture. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to select tile views here. So I can see the three views here. So maybe I'm going to click this uh, schedule. And then I'm going to select tile again. I click the lighting plan and then I select the tile again. What? I click tile. Yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> okay. All right. So where is our 219? So I click this. So again, it will highlight here on our uh, lighting color field plan and here on our floor plan. Okay. So let me just move the slider. Okay. So we have 46 FC for the average estimated illumination and minus 4 FC for the lighting delta. Okay. So let me just escape to deselect the space. Okay, so it's already deselected. So what we're going to do first is let's create a new lighting fixture. And we are going to explore some of the uh, uh, properties of the lighting fixture, some technical terms. But I do have some resources because I do not know all of these terms. So that's why I have research and then I'm going to read it to you. All right, so let me just select this lighting fixture. I want to create a new lighting fixture. So I select edit type, uh, duplicate. Okay, so let me just change the name here. So the name that I would like here is uh, t5type underscore ho underscore uh, 54 watts dash 277 volts. And then I'll just select OK. <clears throat> okay, so that's now our type. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to modify the apparent load. So what is the apparent load? Okay, so apparent load, according to my uh, notes here. So let me just check on my notes. 
so is that the parent load okay so a parent load is a value used to define the real and reactive power used by a fixture so the, to determine the apparent load so multiply the apparent current by the voltage and this parameter is measured in volt amps as you can see so the unit is in volt amps so we are going to modify this one so i'm going to click that and then the value that we will be using here is uh 162 volt amps okay and then let us put some id identification here so i'm looking on the type mark so i click the type mark here so i want to put an f15 identification for that okay 162 volt amps f15 type mark what else so i also want to modify here the uh, lamp so lamp here you can use this for your schedule so this is useful for uh, schedule so let's say i'll just call this uh t5 ho okay right now for the lamp so it says here let me just look at my resource okay lamp so that is the number and type of light bulbs used in the lighting fixture so basically this information can be useful for our uh, schedule okay so what else so we also need to modify the photometrics okay so let's move down so there's the photometrics so i'm going to modify here the light loss factor so let us click that value and then I'm going to modify here the ballast loss factor. Okay, so what is that ballast loss factor? So based on the notes that I have, so lamps and ballast experience losses when operating together as a system. So the ballast loss factor is the percentage of a lamp's initial rated lumens that is produced by a given ballast. So valid values are between 0 and 1. So for example, a value of 0.95 indicates that the ballast produces 95% of its initial lumens and loses 5%. So that's our uh, ballast loss factor. So that is what I would like to modify here. And I also modify the luminaire dirt depreciation wherein it is a measure of the amount of light loss due to environmental dirt and dust that is trapped by the lighting fixture. So valid values are between 0 and 1. So for example, a value of 0.9 indicates that the lighting fixture produces 90% of its initial lumens and loses 10% due to trap, dust, and dirt. Okay, so there's a lot of things that we need to understand here when modifying the photometrics of our uh, lighting fixture. But anyway, uh, for the ballast loss factor, I want that to be 93% or 0.93. And then for the luminaire dirt depreciation, I want this to be 85% or 0.85. Then just select OK. And that's it for our light loss factor so if i'm going to quickly select okay here so you can see that it's now changed so from 45 fc uh average estimated illumination so it becomes 45 for so i think before it's let me just undo once so before it's 46 and then for the lighting delta it's minus four uh minus four fc but after we modify the lighting fixture, I'm going to redo. So now it becomes 45 and it becomes minus 5 FC. All right, so let's continue on modifying the lighting fixture that we just modif uh, that we just created. So I will select it again. I go to the edit type. And then what else? So I also want to modify the photometric web file. So I click this one and then you'll be able to see here the list or the available IES values or IES file that you can use for you to be able to 
modify your uh, lighting fixture. Okay, so what is this? So the photometric uh, web file. So these IES files that we have here, it defines the light emitted from the light source. So this parameter is available when light distribution setting is photometric web. Okay, now uh, let's select here the family or the IES file that we want. So I want a T5 here, so I'm going to select this, 463T5 underscore S dot IES, so I open that, and there you go. And I also want to modify the initial intensity, so I will click this one, and then I would like to use the luminous flux. Okay, so what is this uh, luminous flux? So let me see. So the luminous flux, that is the quantity of light energy per unit of time arriving, leaving, or going through a surface. So the units here is lumens. So that is the unit that we are using for uh, SI units and American system of units. Okay, so let's change that one. So let's say I want to change that to, what's the value? Okay, so I want to change this to 15,000. Okay, and then I'll just click here. Okay, there you go. And then I also want to change the color. So I click here, and then by default, it's fluorescent. I want to change that to Xenon. Okay, so it becomes 6000K. So I'll just select here, okay. All right, there you go. So that's the modification that we have done on our new uh, family or new lighting fixture. So I'll just select apply, and then I just select here, okay. There you go. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is, like what I have said, let me just cancel this. So we want to maximize the lighting output using a few lighting fixture in this space here. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to select these lighting fixtures. Hold control. Click, click, click. All right. And then I'm going to change that to the one that we have created. So I'm going to change the type. So I'm going to select this one. There you go. And then you will notice now that our uh, lighting delta here becomes minus 2. So let us furthermore modify this space here. So what I'm going to do next is I select modify. I'm going to delete some lighting fixture here. Okay. So I'm going to delete some lighting fixtures. So let's say I will click this and then delete. I will click this and then delete and then I want to delete this one as well. Again, the color here change. Okay, and then it's now minus uh, 17 for that. That's all right. So we are still going to modify it. Now I'm going to go to the modify here and then select the match type properties. I'm going to select that as my source, and then I'm going to apply that to the lighting fixtures here. So let's say uh, about here, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and modify. Okay. Right. So what else? So we are going to edit more here. So let's say, uh, because right now it's, uh, what's the value? 3FC. So let me now click this. And then I'm going to select this. And then I'm going to delete. There you go. So that's what we want. And then I just select here, modify. As you can see right now, uh, we only have here 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so 13 lighting fixture. And then we already made that 0 FC, our lighting delta. So we now only have uh, 13 lighting fixtures compared to the ones that we have before. We're in the total number of lighting fixtures that we have there is, if I'm not mistaken, it's 18. Now it's down to 13. Basically, that's the uh, lighting output, the maximum lighting output that we can do 
with a few lighting fixtures in this space and then as you can see we already made that zero fc okay for the lighting del uh, delta all right so that's it for this exercise so in our next video we are going to add switches junction boxes and receptacles to our design okay so thank you for watching guys have a nice day